Hello again, it's Brian from excel-widgets.com. Um, I want to take a few minutes this morning just to show you something a little bit different um, that we've been working on here. Um, <clears throat> it's actually nothing to do with Excel. Um, it's um, it's an HTML-based um, dashboard solution um, that that might be of interest to your to your organisation if they're um, if they're trying to uh, to set up some sort of dashboard uh, capability. Um, in a nutshell. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, it's a little, very, very lightweight, 23 kilobit. You include in your uh, in, in in any web page, um, and it basically gives you the ability to to render these um, SVG scalable vector graphic um, uh, uh, dashboard widgets um, just by adding um, a very small amount of information. Um, anyway, this is a quick tutorial on on how to um, how to use how to quickly download and and, and use um, that script. And the first thing you want to do is go to easydashboardwidgets.com and download at the bottom of the page. Um, click on the link that says free download. Um, you'll see it starts to download a little zip file. Okay, it's already downloaded. Double click it to open it up. Um, I'm going to um, I'm going to unzip this into uh, a new space. Um, you can maybe unzip it onto the desktop. Um, so just get it'll, it'll unzip a, a folder called Easy Dashboard Widgets, um, and there'll be an example here that says "Simple Example," um, which is incredibly small. It's it's a, it's a very lightweight file, two kilobits. If you open that in your internet. Uh, browser you'll get an idea of um, what we're creating um, which is essentially um, uh, uh, this kind of a dashboard um, that can that can show um, anything you want um, so there's a simple example here's another example which is a little bit more complex um, this is the second example okay I'll just open that up on the uh, this is the 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 dashboard um, example again. It's a very small file size. It's 11 kilobytes. Let's open that up just now in a new tab. Um, now the beauty of this is um, the widgets are in a format that's called um, SVG, scalable vector graphics. Um, so if I zoom, it doesn't matter what size I zoom in. I'm going to zoom in right now using Control Plus. They always stay crystal crystal sharp and crystal clear um, so let's zoom back out um, they're also responsive so it doesn't matter if you're viewing on um, for example if I just resize this you're, you're viewing on a mobile phone um, which will come this size or you're viewing on a tablet which is slightly bigger let's go even a little bit bigger um, which comes to this sort of size um, or you're, you're viewing on desktop, which managed to fit um, four columns in. Um, so uh, this looks incredibly complicated to, to create this 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 sort of uh, this sort of dashboard, but it's incredibly easy. Um, if we look at the code that's used to create this simple example here, um, we just have a couple of lines. Um, so let's open that up now. Um, you can use any um, HTML editor. Um, I'm going to use Notepad, for example. Um, he says, let me see if I can open it now in Notepad. Um, or I could use Word. Actually, normally what I use is Adobe Dreamweaver, but uh, um, let's just take the simple example and open it up now. You'll notice. Um, there are th within the body there are three lines all we need to do is 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 have three span elements one two three um, okay so as you'll see um, if we go to the tutorial page if I want to create this widget all I need to do is add into the into the body of my HTML page, a span with these values, 57 or or any values I want, 
for example, 57, 32, 97. And then anywhere on the page, a little script that will render that span and turn it into this widget. Um, now, within the little script, all I need to do is um, I need to call the name. You'll notice at the top there's an ID of that span, widget1. So within that script, I need to call widget1 um, um, the span element. Um, tell it what type of um, widget I want to render. In this case, it's a bar graph. Um, I can add a main title and a subtitle underneath, which are these elements here, um, widget production and widgets per month. What it'll do is it'll add up all the values in the span to, to get this, this, this figure here. Um, and that's it. Um, if I wanted to, to add a linear gauge anywhere on the page, again, I need a span element with, a, with an ID, with a unique ID. Um, <clears throat> and then next, when I render that, I'm rendering it now as a bullet. I um, don't know why I've called it bullet over here, linear gauge. Uh, they're almost the same thing. Um, again, there's a main title, revenues, revenues year to date. Um, a subtitle, US dollars and millions. Um, and obviously a current value, a target, which is down here, this little dotted line here. Um, pretext is the dollar symbol before the main value. K is thousands. I'm used to listen thousands. Um, again, very similar for a spark lines, basically a line graph, which is exactly the same data as for the as for the bar widget. Um, okay, I might want to add a trend. So a trend is going up or down. In which case, I need to give it um, a value for the previous, whether it was the previous month or the previous year. And then what it does is it'll, it, it calculates the difference um, and figures out if the trend is up or down. Um, there we go. I can actually set a threshold and do a, a couple of other things. Um, so again, to show you just very quickly how easy it is, um, I'm going to open up this simple example. In fact, I'm going to I'm just going to have one widget. I'm going to delete the other two just to make it even easier. So let's go ahead. We downloaded and I unzipped um, the example file of the website. I'm going to open this example here, which is the simple example. I'm going to open that actually in Dreamweaver, but you could use um, you could use uh, uh, Microsoft Notepad. You'll see this is the entire file. It's incredibly light. Um, I'm going to take off the other two widgets right now. So we just have one widget. I've deleted those other two spans, and I'm going to delete these two widgets down here. So I'm just calling one widget, which is the line widget. If I open this up now in Chrome, save a simple example. Yeah, let's save it. We have this one widget now. If I want to change that title, I'm going to change that title to the main title to, um, oh my goodness, uh, example, example sales. Let's take a look at that right now. Um, example sales, you year today, should have put a space there. <laughs> um, and if I want to change any of these values, let's put a spike right in the middle. We had a big spike in sales. Um, you'll notice this is 30, this is 30 values, which represents, um, because these are the sales in the previous month. Um, we could have a sale in the middle of the month of, oh, okay, that's 20. And let's take a look at that. Uh, open in Chrome, save the example. There's now a spike in the middle in there. Let's change this to a bar graph. That's currently as a, showing as a line. Let's change it as a bar. Open in Chrome, simple example. It's now rendered as a bar. And that third line there, it, it's showing now 20. Um, there you go. I. I I hope you get an idea of, of, of how to create these um, dashboards um, using our, our, our widgets. Um, if you have any questions at all, um, how to use this software, or if you um, 
if you need some different widgets or you need to change the format or configuration or um, you need any, any support whatsoever um, please feel free to get in touch via the forum um, again just very quickly before you go I'm going to show you again this is the sort of ex not doing very well I'm going to show you very quickly an example of what you can create which again is in the the file you could download this is the more complicated version I'm going to drop him on there um, and again there we go you can close these each of these sections down financial production logistics marketing customer service um, and that gives you an idea of um, how easy it is to um, produce these these responsive um, dynamic mobile friendly um, dashboards giving up-to-date information for your for your business um, very quickly on the website um, if you do want to use this as a commercial um, product um, go to the purchase tab um, purchase for a one-off lifetime single purchase of 39 US dollars um, which includes um, support um, thanks for listening so this is Brian from easy dashboard widgets um, until next time